So I think it's fair to say I've had more than one request for this video now. Hi everybody, hope your day's been a good one so far. So I figured it only the right thing to do and finally get it up on the channel. It's a how to install the Movie Jewels mod for Jedi Academy as the title suggests. Good news is the team responsible for the mod have recently made it a heck of a lot easier for all of us with the release of a double click install package. Now the most important thing you will need to know is basically where the game data folder is. If you can do that then you should be well on your way to playing the mod. So let's get started. There's two versions of Jedi Academy Jedi and Knight floating around the internet. There's the more than likely obtained from a Tom and Cy GOG version and there's the officially obtained Steam version. For this tutorial, I'm assuming already you've got either of these two versions installed and therefore should have an icon on your desktop to load it up. Okay, so bear with me because I'm kind of doing this on the fly and I'm gonna try and do this without editing. So we'll hit the GOG version first. Go to the icon, right click and just come down to your open file location simple as heck and what we're interested in which we're already in is the game data folder if you come back you can go into the game data folder and there's the actual file to load the single player and the multiplayer right for the steam version it's a little bit more complicated because it simply won't let you open a file location so go into steam go to your library and then go down to Jedi Academy right click go to properties over to local files browse local files and there's the address on your computer for the steam version of Jedi Academy now this is going to be different for most people because I haven't set it to the default location which is normally in the C folder in programs and games or whatever it is but this is going to tell you exactly where it is so just rely on that and as you can see there's the game data folder and the single player loading file and a multiplayer loading file. Right, so just go ahead and close down Steam and minimize that. We don't need to be bothered about that for now. Go to whatever internet browser you're gonna use, slap onto Google. I will put the links for these in the descriptions um, for where to download this to, or from rather. And essentially when you get to the page just scroll down and the file we are interested in which was released on the 31st of December New Year's Eve pretty sweet is a Star Wars Movie Jewels Beta 2 AIO installer all right just go ahead and click onto that link web page loads download that if it doesn't automatically start loading give it three or four seconds it should kick in at the bottom here but if it doesn't then you've also got a link there don't run it don't save it save as just click that and come to save as so you're gonna know where you're gonna save it personally for yourself right so I'm gonna save it in my Jedi Academy mods folder uh, full mods and if I can find it movie jewels really mastered I'm gonna pop it in this how to install folder as you can see I've already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it again it it's about two gig if you've got a decent connection it should take about five or six minutes to download it go ahead and and do that once it's downloaded that's all you need there is no other files that you need previously there was but now there isn't it's just that installer it's pretty damn simple so we're going to locate that on the hard drive this is jedi academy mods bear with me i've got a million things going on on this pc it's absolutely phenomenal <laughs> right so here's the file dead easy double left click on the mouse couldn't be simpler it is a little bit slow to load up bear with it it will kick in eventually as you see it's about two gig in size so not as sizable as some of the other files now gotta tell you if your antivirus does kick in don't worry about it it doesn't have a virus i've used it a thousand times and so have a ton of other people it's just that because it's a package it may conflict a little bit with your antivirus one of these pops up give it permissions it's what we want it to do and we're in so welcome Star Wars Movie Jewels beta 2 install program happy days nice one guys the the team that built this happy days on this mate very good click through agree with the terms and conditions and here's where it gets funky so if you've got the default steam location it's probably gonna be that right there for us it isn't 
So just remember where we're going to install it. Ours is the Steam version we're installing. So it's on the E drive for me. So I'm just going to go back to that and direct it to that particular folder, making sure it's the game data folder as well. If I can fathom where I've put it. Okay, so it's Steam Library. Got to be honest, I never run the Steam version. Common, Jedi Academy, Game Data. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click the Game Data folder there and then OK it. So it's definitely going into the Game Data. Click Next and start the install. Now, for some reason, when I installed this earlier or just trying it out, yeah, it's done it again. It comes up with like a red X in the top right there, like it's going to crash and freeze. But hopefully, it did last time, it just beasted through. Yeah, it's done it again. And it's going to install. And as you see, it's a pretty fast install. It's going to vary on, obviously, what PC you've got. Right, we're fully installed. We're absolutely fully installed. Nothing more to install. No JK open files. No patches. No nothing. So, obviously, ours is already open. If it's not, then just locate where you've installed it to the game data folder and as you can see we've now got a movie jewels file an installer and a couple of dll application extensions what the heck they are i've no idea go to your desktop let's make life easy you are going to want to run this from that file there forget about your jedi academies now if you want to play movie jewels you're going to need a new shortcut so just go to your desktop right click new obviously i'm running windows 10 if you're running windows 7 then i haven't used it in years sorry i'm sure you know how to make a shortcut if not give it a quick google or a youtube okay so the location of this file we're browsing for again mine's in the e drive yours may be on the c drive but you can know where that is by now i've done it a few times steam apps common jedi academy game data folder and there's the little puppy that we want right there okay next I'm gonna name it I'm just gonna call it movie jewels January install and if I minimize these hopefully oh, okay mine's gone weird not entirely sure why it's gone like that let's give my nope all right let's just check this out it should work yep it's loaded straight up normally it should have had an icon i'm not entirely sure why it didn't have an icon there just being funny on me because i'm recording it wants me to make, make me look stupid but there we have it so it's going to load up now obviously it takes a few minutes to load up seriously guys there's nothing more you need to know as i say it is if you know what you're doing it can be pretty simple hopefully following this tutorial you shouldn't have any problems one thing that's worth mentioning is if you want to jump straight into the extras area from your first install that's not going to work you do have to play at least one level just go in there load it up and then you can back out and then you'll be able to go into the extras area for some reason that's just how it works and that is it guys and girls really hope this video's helped you to install the movie jewels and i hope you have a lot of fun playing it it is a top notch mod as for now if you enjoyed it hit that like button give us a thumbs up subscribe for more you know we update daily take it easy have a great day and bye for now